Aunt Avila is vice president of the Pasco Pride. They say this event serves as a beacon for acceptance, community, and love. There's a real sense that there's a purpose for prides to happen if the community itself brings it together and wants it so. A bubble and foam party kept the kids busy while drag queens, poets, and live music performed on the main stage. So we really tried to bring a diverse mix of queer artistry to the stage. We, of course, embrace and love our drag community. An estimated 1,500 people attended this year's event. Former Mr. Pasco Pride and event MC Vince Suasion says the event is needed to provide an outlet for the community's LGBTQ plus base. To have this event happen every year in Pasco County just shows that our existence is real and possible and that safe spaces and the demand for it is present. Avila says the organization expected protesters. And while a small group of anti-Pride protesters did show up, Avila says there's been plenty of encouragement from others. Becky Mallison with Free Mom Hugs showered attendees with love and support. And so just for us moms and dads and brothers and siblings to come out today and give hugs and make them feel part of a family, chosen family is a real family. The event kicked off a slew of events in the region. Tampa Pride is this month and St. Pete Pride happens in May. In Land O'Lakes, Megan Bowman, USF Newsroom.